Good morning, everybody. Dominique here from Body Mind Fitness with I Woke Up Like This. Um, I didn't just wake up. I have fed my youngest and grabbed a coffee, but I have not changed my outward appearance since I woke up. So at least I'm staying honest on that front. So I'm here this week to talk to you about a, um, a viewer question. I guess it would be. Um, and that is how to get back into exercise after having a baby. Um, now, the more I was kind of going into this topic, the more I discussed that this could really apply to anyone. And I'm going to post some links in the comments after the live broadcast um, that you can refer to later on. There will be a minimum of two of them. I might come up with other ones later, but for now, there's going to be two of them. Um, so if they aren't there, when you are watching this, make sure to check back later. I ran into a little bit of a technical glitch and I wanna make sure that that's fixed before I post the video into the comments. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, I'm really excited to get started on this topic. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get going. So how to get back into exercise after baby. So um, first of all, congratulations. Um, I hope you are feeling really, really well, Mama. And um, yes, so six weeks. Six weeks is kind of the magic number, right? Of, okay, you can get back into your exercise. So a lot of people are waiting for that six-week mark before they get started. But some of what this video will cover are things that you can actually get started beforehand. Yes, before the six weeks. And that is if you're feeling pretty good. And not just pretty good for having a baby, but pretty good besides the fact that you had a baby. I hope that is coming across the way I mean it. Um, so first and foremost, especially, especially, especially during the first year, I prioritize sleep above anything else. So sleep can have a very profound effect on um, achieving your goals, whatever they may be. Uh, any kind of um, strengthening goals, anything really will be impacted by lack of sleep. So I encourage you, and this will be really hard at first because I still have very hard days with this, try to work out with your little ones or little one, depending if you have one or multiple. The more you get, the harder it also gets. Um, I learned, I thought I had this down and then introduced a second one and I was like, whoa. Uh, so making sure, um, that you prioritize sleep. So I used to get up early. I used to wait for nap time and I was just too tired. So I really started incorporating them into my workouts and it changed a lot of things. So I really encourage you to give that a try. And, um, you know, there's definitely, like I said, challenges, 50 questions. If you got a toddler watching where little feet are, um, but it is definitely possible. Just give it some time. Babes thrive on routine and eventually they're going to look at you and be like, oh, mom's doing that thing again. And it's boring now. So I'm going to play with my toys. And then a week later, they might bug you and that's okay. We just go with the flow as we always do, right? The second thing is especially after you've had a baby. So I did promise that some of this applies. So bear with me here to anyone who's just starting to get into a routine at all. But if you are after baby, make sure um, I made the mistake with my first. I got that six week clearance and I was like, I am ready to get back into physical exercise. I didn't know at the time what it took. I thought, okay, I know what I'm doing and I know I have to dial back my exercises and I knew how to dial them back, but I had no business doing Beachbody's Insanity workout at two months postpartum. Um, down the road, I ended up with some pelvic floor anomalies and, um, that started off, I started noticing it, I should say at eight months postpartum. So just make sure you are really taking that time to rest and rehab and retrain your body. Um, this is integral. So that's going to be what one of the, the links in the comments is going to be is a little routine that I've put together. So you can definitely check that out when it's up. And then the first thing before even that piece is your core breathing. So core breathing is the first thing that I use with any of my clients who have any sort of pelvic floor anomaly. 
and it is definitely the first thing that I give any of my postnatal clients. So um, make sure you check out the video. I don't want to get into too much detail, but um, short version, just a great breakdown of how to breathe in order to start gaining back awareness of the fact that the pelvic floor is um, connected to the breast. So not going back to that, but this is something you may not have known. Um, and going back to teaching your body how to manage load properly, um, how to manage intra-abdominal pressure properly, and things that are all going to be very helpful for your pelvic health down the road. So make sure you check those out. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about those, just let me know, um, especially by posting the comments is um, in this video. is probably the best way to uh, make sure that I get those. My next tip is, and I still struggle with this one <laughs> all the time, is moving for the love of movement as opposed to weight loss. So moving for the love of movement versus weight loss. I got a visitor coming down the stairs. I see little white socks. Moving for the love of movement versus weight loss, especially in that first year <laughs> postpartum, um, or if you are just starting off with an exercise program, I am somebody who loves to lift weights and I like to lift heavy weights. But what I found, um, both, especially with this past pregnancy, so I've got two, two that I birthed and two bonus children, but especially with this last pregnancy, I've been really itching to get back into those heavy weights. And then I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still carefully making my way back into it, but I always get to this point where I'm like, it feels like too much work and I'm exhausted now. And now I have to go home and take care of this munchkin and the other one that's sleeping upstairs. So finding a love of movement. So I've really gone back to actually the routine that is posted below. A lot of body weight training, a lot of resistance band training because, okay. We will get some soon, very soon, okay? And, pardon me, <laughs> and uh, just making sure that you move because you feel good about it, stuff that doesn't feel like you're exhausted by the end. Um, and again, this routine that I posted below can be started before six weeks if you are feeling pretty good about it. A lot of it is a lot of mobility, a little bit of strength work, but things that are functional movements that you will use or muscles that you will need even on those early years, um, early years, <laughs> early weeks after a baby. Um, but again, I remind you, not feeling good for the fact that you just had a baby, but feeling good in general besides having had a baby. So really find that love of movement. I cannot emphasize that enough. Even if it's just a few stretches on the floor, maybe if it's some body weighted squats while you're cooking, um, maybe some hip bridges while you're watching TV, playing with the kids. There are different ways that you can incorporate very simple movements and start just gradually getting that love of movement back. And this is the piece that really can apply to anyone and not just somebody who is coming off of having a baby. So just keep that in mind. And if you need any further um, answers about how to incorporate that love of movement into your exercise, because I really had a hard time wrapping my mind around it. And like I said, I still fail at this constantly. I constantly get to this point where I am like, I am ready to start doing heavy weights. And it's not that I can't, it's just, I'm not quite enjoying yet how I feel afterwards, the time it took to do it and the energy that I expended doing it when I'm still pretty tired. The only thing I set an alarm for to get up early for is this because I'm trying to get it before, done before all of the children wake up and I'm hearing more and more starting to get up right now. Um, really accepting where you are today and if you are recently had a baby in the past had a baby the idea of a pre-baby body coming back um there's a lot that happened internally including part of your skeletal structure move your ribs spread um there's people commonly know about it, like the hips getting wider but there's a lot of things that happen internally and just think to yourself if i were like this you know, until whenever, the rest of my life, would I be okay with that? Again, I fail at this. There are days where I feel really fantastic. Um, and there are days where it's hard. 
it's hard to um, wrap my mind around what I'm seeing in a photo or what I'm seeing <laughs> or what I'm seeing in um, in the mirror at times and this is totally normal and there is nothing wrong with it and if you have these thoughts it doesn't mean that you've failed at any of the tips that I've given um, yeah, so just keep in mind get give yourself some sleep that's gonna help you with your goals um, not getting enough sleep can like I said affect the goals um, but it also can lead to food binging um, and it's just because you're trying to replenish energy and taking the time to rehab which again I will post the links in the comments I promise to do that um, core breath will come before you even do the movements yes I see Chloe um, and then taking the time for the core breath which you can do in conjunction with the movement or before you even start the movement or both um, you definitely want to make sure you'll see more about it in the video that you are incorporating that into movement just not not just while you're laying down or being immobile and then moving for the love of movement that is my final tip for you um, it feels good to get moving and you deserve to feel good um, so whether it's going for walks you know doing some random stuff on the floor while the kids are playing around it's all good so as always thank you so much for tuning in today if any of this resonated with you at all or if there's a topic you would like to hear about it please feel free to post it in the comments and I will make sure to get to that as soon as I can as long as I have some knowledge about it if I don't I will send you a message and let you know if who you could talk to about it so with that said that's all I've got for you today I'm going to finish up that last um, little glitchy part in the video I will post it below and uh, let let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you've tried out any of those movements and how you felt afterwards. And as always, if you need anything else, never hesitate to reach out to me via Facebook, Instagram, email. Um, I am here for you no matter what you need. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, and I will see you next Monday at 7 a.m. Have a great day. Bye-bye.